Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lastly here. Welcome. Welcome to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory Finger Points to the Sky, ladies and gentlemen, for episode number 89. We are nearly at that 100 episode mark. Crazy. Time absolutely flies. I think last year, episode 100 was pretty much on Christmas. So we're ahead of the game, but I think the game came out a little bit earlier as well this year. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep plugging away. I might save the uh, highlights video, the episode 1 to 100 highlights. I might save that for a Christmas Day video, even if it's 10 or so videos behind where it should be. I don't know. Anyway, getting on into the episode. How you doing? Do me a favor. Smash the thumbs up button. 4,000 likes on this episode. It's what I would love to see. I'm sure you'd love to see it as well, right? Lasty doing well on YouTube. That'd be brilliant. Thank you, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So, um, yeah, we've got a pretty pretty spicy team, in all honesty. This this team is, prob I would say, easily the best team I've ever had at this stage of the game. Uh, I know last year, it's going to take, when Team of the Year comes around, right, it's going to take quite a lot to beat getting Cristiano Ronaldo in the very, very first pack. Um, but who knows what <laughs> what this game has in store for me this year because it has been a madness up to this point in time. Uh, and genuinely, I've, I've freaking loved the support that you guys have given me. Uh, we have one of the biggest RTGs on YouTube, which is, uh, yeah, I, I just, I love it. I, I appreciate you very, very much. Um, so today, you're going to witness... Uh, Oh, nice little uh, shadow in a in a preview pack, as well as an 83. That to me means, yeah, buy that one. That's going to be worth it, even if like you can't quite make the money back from uh, just the 83 in the shadow alone. The other bits and bobs in that pack are going to make this one worthwhile, uh, and it allows me to go and do another preview pack. And I get a walkout. I get myself. Oh my God, Messi! No, 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 no. For those of you that know the flames, you knew that wasn't going to be Messi uh, because not all six flames popped up at once. We get Di Maria though, who at the time was like 17,000 coins, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that is without doubt the most I have made from a preview pack uh, on this game. So I didn't actually have the money in my account to, uh, to buy the pack at the time, so I needed to wait for a couple of things to sell. I basically needed that shadow from the previous pack to sell and once that happens as you can see we now have the eight and a half thousand coins i'll be able to go back to the Di maria pack purchase it sell him on for profit and do another preview pack how long can we keep the streak going uh, actually that's a good question for you lot have you ever had a streak of profitable preview packs i want to know like how far along you've gotten that'd be really cool to know actually i, I wonder what the uh the FIFA Ultimate Team world record is for preview packs in a row with coins that are profitable on every single pack. Because it can't be that many, right? Most of the time, I check these every 24 hours and, and they're garbage and you just don't buy them. But the ones you see are obviously the ones that I buy. Um, so, yeah, he, that was that was worthwhile. Uh, you're also going to see, obviously, uh, the... Oh, I think the streak ends here. Does the streak end here? Oh, it's not looking good, is it? Uh, I I double I had to do a double take on this one because there's four players: CM to Cam, CF to ST. I didn't know whether or not this one would be worth it, so I haven't bought it. I could probably still go out back and buy it, um, but yeah, I, I I don't think that one would have been profitable. But it would be nice to buy it, see if it could be profitable, and then open another one. I might go and do that after this video, actually, um, just to keep the streak going. Uh, but yeah, anyway, getting on to what I wanted to talk about is what you'll see in this video is sort of what I see happening with the League SBC grind. It basically puts the the structure and the flow of the video out a little bit, out of whack a little bit. Um, so, like I mentioned to you yesterday, like it, random packs come and go and I can't exactly remember. It's difficult to remember what you get in 20 different packs from 20 different parts of League SBCs throughout a 15 minute video, isn't it? So I, I can't exactly remember uh, what we get, when we get it, but I do recall getting one or two walkouts. So you'll see them as the uh, as the video goes on. But um, I try and show you like exactly what I've paid for play uh, for players, uh, and then you can see how many first owner players I had, how many players I needed to buy to top it up, uh, and that might give you a little bit more of an idea as to how I'm going about the league SBCs. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong because, despite the fact that some of the packs are all right, 
uh, I, I, I am running out of coins every now and again uh, because I think I'm buying too many players and that might just be the result of me having a club that isn't full enough. Pretty sure we get a walkout from this one right here. Come on, last he knows the flow of his videos. Come on. We're going to get ourselves Rodri um, from Man City. That is from the Prime Gold Players Pack from the overall reward for the Bundesliga SBC. So that one is a dub. We get ourselves an 83, an 80, a couple 82s, and of course that 86 Rodri. Uh, untradeable, but that's fodder, right? That's part of the beauty of doing these SBCs is that every now and again you'll get this untradeable fodder player, which you didn't have before, and you can shove that into an SBC for a player that you want. I guess effectively the grind of this is going to help improve your coin balance over time and improve that fodder to the point where you're essentially crafting the player SBCs that you want and then once that fodder's gone we well, just keep rinsing and repeating the league SBCs and then you get the fodder back again for the next player SBC that you want to do although I think the latest player SBC that I've seen on my account uh, is the Serie A player of the month and it is Chananolu and he doesn't look very good so I won't be going for him that is for sure um, I think that Premier League SBC, I pretty much had all of the players already. Like, we'd done enough little packs here and there that I'd built up 11 players for the Prem SBC. Uh, but that one, of course, is a struggle. The Prem, the overall Prem SBC, with that first squad with all the silver players required, that one is going to consistently be a coin sink, I'm pretty sure, simply because each and every silver Prem player or bronze Prem player, whatever you're going for, they're like 3.8k. Uh, and as more and more people do this, I think they might just carry on going up. So, uh, yeah, it's a, a wee bit of a struggle on that front. I need to be able to somehow get more silver players and uh, more bronze players from the Prem in my packs. So that gets me to one last little tip here. Um, do your silver preview packs every day. Because with the amount of League SBCs that there are... You're quite likely, I think, to get a player from one of the leagues that's worth quite a lot. And then if you want to buy that preview pack, it's like 3,700 coins. It doesn't take much to make that money back. So silver preview packs might be a, a fairly decent way to go. And this is my 85 plus upgrade. We get ourselves Verratti. Uh, it's an 87, so of course I will take that. But I was hope I, you just really hope for a promo player in a pack like that. It removes so much of the garbage. Um, that you just hope that maybe, maybe, just maybe you're going to get that. Uh, and then it's time to select my level 27 reward. Which league am I going to go for? Well, with Ronaldo and Bruno and Trent and Cancelo and all of that lot in the current UCL promo, uh, it was obvious that I was going to choose Premier League. So um, I also then went out and grinded in the background. I did Silver Beasts. Was that yesterday's video? I did Silver Stars at least. And you can see that right now. Uh, I've been playing with my Silver team quite a lot. That Jota that I got a couple of weeks ago. Very good, by the way. I really like him. Um, but it turns out the Dodo is not extinct. As you can see, we have managed to... Uh to bring a dodo back to life. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we have this Brazilian man uh, who does look very good. I think he actually looks good enough to go in a main team. And he would get a strong link to Pele. For those of you that don't know, I own Pele. <laughs> I know, it is a bit of a, comes to a bit of a surprise to all of you. But uh, yeah, I do own Pele, for those of you that don't know. Unfortunately, my Premier League Prime Players Pack, it featured two 85s and an 83. Like, it's all right. But it didn't get a, I didn't get a promo player. No Ronaldo for me. Um, although I think if I got Ronaldo, you guys might literally flip out on me. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It wouldn't go down very well, I don't think. Um, but hey, I'd love to see that reaction. So I'm hoping I get Ronaldo at some point in this week. That would be great. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, our silver squad. It probably won't change in terms of the starting eleven. But getting that dodo. He looks good. It actually does genuinely look good. I think he might even go into my main team just for a little bit, just to try him out. Uh, and I'll show you towards the end of the episode how we can make that happen. Uh, but back to the grind again. Uh, I will continue to do this. I literally have run out of coins. I tried to do some bronze pack method uh, because what I was noticing, right, is that going through like these main league SBCs, if I get to the one where I need like a, a a few bronze players or a few silver players. Whenever I check the market for like any Bundesliga player, there's nothing under like 700 coins, which means 
even every single bronze Bundesliga player is under 700 coins or whatever. That's just an example. So surely by opening up the bronze packs, you're just going to start making money like hand over fist. It, hadn't, it wasn't the case for me last night, though. Unfortunately, I just kept getting players that weren't from the league SBC leagues. Uh, and because of that, obviously, then I wasn't really making too much profit. And it just dwindled my coins down to absolutely nothing. Um, so, yeah, because I just kept going and going and going and going. And, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, little walkout for you, though. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get ourselves Matt's Hummels. 86 rated. I think this is on. Is it? No, this might be tradable, you know. It is untradable. Come on, Tom. Learn the flow of your videos, buddy. Uh, no, yeah, this is a, a, a untradable Matt Hummel. So that's him and Rodri in today's episode, as well as Verratti from uh, the 85 plus. So we're starting to get like a high rated team together. If I wanted to do the SBC for, I don't know, Halla, Chong, anyone really. There's plenty of SBCs out there. Um, and one of my viewers that messaged me on Instagram said, do the bronze and silver packs if you've just got spares of those players. Uh, do the SBCs for the bronze and silvers or whatever uh, from the icon SBCs so that you get these tradable two rare player packs. Because he sent me a couple of pictures and he was like, you know what, I got this crazy UCL player and then another pack, I got another UCL player. So I thought, I would like a UCL player. I'm going to do that as well. So I put some of my useless bronze and silver rares into the, the first two squads for the icons. You know, like the Roberto Carlos, the closer, all of that stuff. Uh, and managed to get myself eight of these two player packs, which, if anything, will at least just boost the amount of golds I've got in my club by 16 players, right? You know, it's simple as that. If we can get something good here, that'll be absolutely lovely as well. Uh, but so far, not quite so good. It hasn't really been... Uh, Paying out. I've uh, I've got a couple of 82s, but that's about it. Five packs to go then. I've only got 99 coins in the club as well after doing the... Uh, well, I actually had to buy a couple of bronzes for these SBCs as well. So I've really just like whittled down my club to nothing. Who knows? I might give up on the league SBC grind tomorrow and just send all of my golds into the 75 plus player picks. I will probably do that, you know. That does sound like a very lasty thing to do because I love a player pick. You guys know how lucky I can get from them as well. So... Probably for the best anyway. Uh, we do get a board though. We get Gosens. Doesn't really sell for much, but I will absolutely take it. Uh, can we improve from boards to walk out? No, not in this one. Uh, we can go downwards uh, and get ourselves Arnold, 81. Okay, all right. And a duplicate Gigi Buffon, uh, who now plays for... Was that Palmer I think he plays for? God, I hope I got that right. Anyway. Second to last pack. We are not going to get boards or walk out again, unfortunately. I think that's an 82, though. Yeah, Paulinha. Um, and who else is in the pack? It's just a Keita Balde Diao. And then the final pack. Oh, you thought you'd seen a good pack with me getting Pele. What about... Oh, wait. No. 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 It's not going to be uh, Road to the Knockout or Road to the Final. Uh, no. Team of the Knockout. Team of the Group Stage. Uh, what is it called? Team of the Group Stage. It's not team of the group stage, Ronaldo. It was just Lacroix, um, which kind of sucks. But yeah, anyway, uh, you can see that we are up to a whopping 764 coins now that Buffon sold. All of that other stuff had just been sold earlier on whilst I was doing the bronze packs. So it gave me the money and I just kept opening bronze packs with the money. So I wasn't profiting whatsoever. Um... But yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap things up. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you, of course, is what we could potentially do with this Dodo card. So if I was to uh, flip and switch Verratti with Pele, then I could have the same amount of chemistry. And I could actually remove Hakimi, sell him for a little bit of freed up coinage, and put Dodo in and see how that actually goes. And what you might notice there is that Gelson Martins could come out and obviously Neres could go there. That same thing could have happened before. But um, if I managed to muster up the coins for like Chiesa, he could go there. I don't have the coins for him, but um, you never know when I'm going to get lucky and make some money. But with that lineup right there, we could put an Italian right winger in there. And that could be like team of the group stage Chiesa, who I would love to try. But I think that might be pie in the sky dreaming a little bit because I uh, I don't have the money to buy him. Even if I sold Noya and Hakimi, that would put me up somewhere close to just about 100k. And I think um, I'm pretty sure Chiesa is about 200k. So we would need to get 
we need to get some more money from somewhere and that's just not going to happen in the next few days guys thank you so much for watching today uh i know there's been no gameplay there was some gameplay in the background i did i did like silver stars and stuff uh but you guys don't want to watch that you know one nil rage quits and whatnot uh but tomorrow i will attempt my qualifiers we do need to get stuck into the qualifiers so that we can hopefully get into the weekend league make some more money that would be lovely um but yes guys thank you so much for watching do me a huge favor and smash the thumbs up button Four thousand likes that is your target for today uh i'd absolutely love to see it so yeah smash that thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new cheers um you can find me on twitter and instagram both of those links are down below only thing left to say is that i hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day take it easy even if it's you've had a busy day or whatever take 10 15 minutes to just sit there breathe and relax all right become one with yourself I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. But just take some time for yourself today. That would be great. Uh, have a good day, everyone. I will catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.